Ducks, welcome back to the channel. Smash the like on the video, please hit the subscribe button as well. We're approaching 13,000 subscribers on the channel. Chop chop, you know what to do. Follow me at Lee underscore Chappie on all social platforms. Right, transfer news again. Leicester City, Arsenal and Burnley are in the chase. £15 million for Stoke City's Nathan Collins. Nathan Collins has played 27 appearances in all comps for Stoke this season, scoring two goals as well, however, picking up an injury in February. Uh, he's also their youngest ever captain in a game last season as well. Um, he looks very sharp. He's played at right back and centre back. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's also at senior level as well um, with his national side, Republic of Ireland, although I don't think he's actually been capped yet. I do believe he has made the squad. Uh, Daily Express, the Daily Star are reporting that City are keeping close tabs on Collins. Burnley already letting their interest as well. Arsenal in the run too. Uh, Sean Dyche is expected to be backed in the transfer market by the club's new owners who completed a takeover of the Turf Moor side back in December. Arsenal have been linked with Collins as well, uh, with Arteta's side mentioned as obviously a possible destination for the defender in the new year. It is expected the clubs will dip into the championship for proven young talent as the financial impacts of the coronavirus continue because obviously no clubs have got 50 to 100 million pounds to spend on players galore uh, well maybe Man City maybe Man United probably but not many of the other sides will want to fork too much money out I mean you've got to look we could potentially be getting Samare in and Edouard for around £35 million for both players at Leicester City so £15 million for another player uh, it's a good price tag but not Premier League proven so I can only imagine if we do pull in Collins then he's only going to unfortunately either go into the youth side, into the development side, or be unfortunately loaned out. But will be a Leicester player. Because I'm expecting other players to come as well. Don't forget we've got KDH coming back as well, Drewsby Hall. Um, he should be coming back from Luton with a successful loan as well. So you've got to think of the amount of players that, are, that have been loaned out last season, as well as some of these newbies that are coming in. You've got to try and make enough room to fit them all in. Now, we have got Europa League as well, don't forget. So we do need more players. Bertrand is a possibility on a free as well. Uh, so the squad is looking like the idea of building more and more, more players, youth and a few experienced players like Bertrand. Um, and maybe Tarkowski as well. We'll talk about Tarkowski, Tarkowski on another video. Um, but uh, in the meanwhile, this is just been flagged up by the press, by Leicester Mercury. You can go and check it out. But as far as City are concerned, they will look to sign a centre-back following the departure of Wes Morgan, who retired uh, after the conclusion of the season, winning the FA Cup in his last game, by the way. Wow, what an achievement that is. Uh, Brendan Rodgers has Wesley Fofana, uh, Sayunshu and Johnny Evans, don't forget, but Johnny Evans is getting older and older and older. Uh, we do need to start thinking about getting some new centre-backs in and I think this is probably one that, that Leicester have been watching for quite some time. I would prefer to go for Tarkowski right now, only 28 years old, uh, in his prime almost. I would prefer to go for him. He's already at Premier League standard, but would Burnley even let him go? Who knows? Um, but, but hey, there you go. There is the news. Leicester looking for Stoke City's centre-back. He also plays at a right-back at times, Nathan Collins. Please stay tuned for more on the channel. Let me know your thoughts on Nathan Collins. Do you know much about the kid? I'm not so sure about this one, but here it is. Here it is. Here's the news for you guys. Smash the like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and please stay tuned to the channel for more throughout the Euros. We're going to be doing content for that too. And don't forget to re-watch some of our videos that we've just put out over the last few days as well, including my rant about, about Fafana in an Arsenal kit, as well as our Edward uh, release video if he comes, uh, and a few other bits and bobs there as well to check out. There's a, a Samare uh, show reel, so to speak, there as well. You can check that one out on the, on the channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, cheers guys for coming in again and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe.